I'm FT and John, and today I'll show you how to set up the ADB for Windows, also known as the Android Debug Bridge. This guide is to help those who are first time trying to root an Android phone or tablet and need use of the ADB. First I need you to open up your web browser. I currently have it linked, but it's for developer.android.com slash sdk slash index.html Once you're there, you're going to need to download the Android SDK Windows zip file. Preferably save it to an easy spot such as the desktop for easy to find access. And as we're waiting for this to download, go ahead and unzip that file. And then I'm going to want you to go to the start, go to computer, go to the C drive and you're going to need to create a new folder Android you can name it anything else but just to keep things simple just name it Android go ahead open it and then that freshly unzipped folder of yours open that and you're going to want to copy the contents of this into the, your new Android fo folder Go ahead, go into there, and open up the SDK Manager. There you're going to have a long list of different things you can download for accessing programming Android. If you just want to use the ADB, the only thing you're going to need to make sure that's clicked and checked is the Platforms Tools. Make sure you have that checked, then hit Install. Um, not necessary, but we're getting a Google USB driver out of this. Once it's done, close and close. Go ahead and open up your new folder, Platform Tools. You'll see you have ADB there. And just to make sure that everything's fine, go to Start, type in CMD, click the CDM EXE, also known as Command Prompt. And you're going to want to type in CD for Change Directory. Go back to the window. If you click it, it'll highlight the address that you're going to need. Right click it, copy. Then on the command prompt, left click, go to edit, and then paste. Then hit enter. This will automatically change the command prompt to that location of the ADB. Then once it's done that and there is any errors, just type ADB EXE and you'll get a long list of information and that confirms that you now currently have ADB installed. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.